Could you tell me your full name, please? <laughs> Most of us take speaking for granted. But what if the words in your head just won't come out? For over half a million people in Britain, a stutter affects their lives every single day. It's ha ha ha. <laughs> like it when a sister stammer on a hitch because it's like ha 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 ha. Oh, damn. But for one group of stammerers, there's a once in a lifetime opportunity to transform their speech forever. Oh, lovely. They'll join a pioneering course run by stammerers themselves that claims to give people control of their stutter in just four days. Couldn't say a word yesterday. So, amazing. Nothing can really prepare you. They've got to jump in with two feet and say, right, I want this change to happen. As our stammerers confront their biggest fears head on, they'll be pushed to breaking point. I want to pretend that I'm fine. <laughs> it's all or nothing if they want to achieve what to many may seem the simplest of dreams to speak. Yeah! Amazing. <laughs> This could be the most important weekend of their lives. Musharraf. Musharraf Asghar. Thank you. It's July. Educating Yorkshire's Musharraf Asghar is joining four new students who have travelled to Croydon from across the country. No two stammers are the same. I'm here for the Maguire programme. From switching out difficult words... Ooh, this is very uh, cosy. ..to repeating or sticking on certain sounds... This is a Vicky Craft. Everyone joining the course has a stutter that's unique to them. Hello. Uh, uh. Checking in. Yeah. Under the name of. Um. Uh, 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 Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So as I say, 17-year-old yeah. okay. yeah. Mushraf has struggled with a debilitating stammer since he had an asthma attack at the age of four. Uh, In his final year of school in Dewsbury, Mushraf temporarily conquered his stammer with the help of English teacher Mr. Burton and some headphones. Come on. I want to thank you. I want to thank you today for letting me speak in front of all of you. I want to ex especially thank Mr. Burton for, for helping me overcome my stammer. The thing about the headphones uh, was that it was never looked at as a permanent solution. Here he is. All right, Sire? No. Yeah, How yeah, are you? Yeah, yeah. Nice to see you. You know, it, it works in terms of the confidence that's generated from him, but it was never going to be something that would last forever and ever and ever, because it's just not a practical thing to, to do on a day-to-day -day basis.
Inspired by the help that Mr. Burton gave him, Mushraf has come back to school to discuss work experience. What have you thought about before in terms of your career and all that kind of stuff? Uh, 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 two, uh, three. Uh, teaching. Uh, teaching. <laughs> right, one of the big things about teaching and careers in teaching, obviously, is kind of work experience. And another big thing is obviously communication stuff, isn't it? If you want to come into school, you know, back here and maybe look at leading a bit of a science lesson or maybe leading a small group session or something like that, that'd be great if you want to come in and do some work experience. That'd be wonderful. And, you know, if this, um, if the programme that you're doing has, has a really, really good effect on you, then that'd be, that'd be ace, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right then, Mush. So, good luck. Yeah, Enjoy it. Okay. And uh, yeah. let us know how it goes. Yeah. And we'll uh, see you in the staff room in a couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay then, sir. All right, pal. See you later. Uh. If I saw him delivering a part of a lesson or a lesson to a, to a group of students, especially at this place, but anywhere, um, I think I would, I would probably burst with pride um, to have had any impact on him being anywhere near a teacher or being anywhere near delivering a lesson. Yeah it would be an incredibly proud moment for me. Always when he gets stuck, you know, I get upset to myself. Because I try to help him and I do everything I can. <laughs> um, if this course, like, it doesn't work out, then... You will work. work. He will work, yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just keep your finger crossed, keep yeah. praying, yeah. Yeah, just keep praying. Yeah. I hope you get better. Yeah. Today, Mushraf is joining a group of students on an intensive four-day residential programme. Each student is allocated a coach to support them for the duration of the course. All the coaches have been through the programme and are themselves recovering stammerers. Coming and facing something that you struggle with and addressing the emotions that are related with that is something that you don't want to do, but you have to. 27-year-old Jennifer came on her first course over three years ago. And Jennifer... Uh, 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 Jennifer will be working closely with new student Vicky Croft. She's really pretty. <laughs> uh, she seems really nice. Last Christmas, 23-year-old Vicky's life changed overnight. Out of the blue, Vicky had a minor stroke, a result of a rare medical condition called HHT. When she recovered, she'd acquired a stammer. Very, very different to the person I was eight months ago. That's really in your fifth face. Life and soul at Papa Party. But that's who I was then. This is who I am now. No, 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 no point getting yourself down. Hi, hey, hi, hi. How are you doing? Good, good, good. <laughs> good, thank you. How can I help you today? Are you looking for anything in I'm particular? Doing a ch ch charity ball. Oh, I need a ch ch dress for it. Perfect. Is there anything you're sort of looking for colour wise or anything? Just as long as it suits me. <laughs> you don't realise how little look you are. To be able to say what you need to say until it gets taken away from you. So it's hard. <laughs> I like it when a sister stammer on a H because it's like ha 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 ha. Just puts a little smile on your f -f face. <laughs> Really like it. Really <laughs> right. Yeah, happy with that? Yeah. yeah, it looks really nice. So I would just need your a contact number just so yes. that we can get in touch with you. One three. Uh, one three. Ah. Uh, six six seven. Six seven. No six 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 seven. 
Six, seven. <laughs> two, six, six, seven. Two, six, seven. <laughs> no, you're right. So after the zero, two, six, seven. No, this, 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 six, six, seven. Six, six, seven. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. No problem. Thank you very much. But if I could have my sp b beach back, it'd be amazing. But I think if you could put too much p pop into one thing, you just end up g getting let like, d, d down. So it's going to more be a c case of let's just see what happens. You know, I don't want to be like, yeah, I'm, it's definitely good, good going to work. My little, little life's going to be better. Cause it m might not work, but we can t try for now. <laughs> She went from a fluent speaker to stammering. I do think it's a lot harder for her. Just hope that she does stick it out. While Jenny mentors Vicky, Mushraf will be working with experienced coach, 44-year-old Steve Moses. What are, you, what are you studying at college? Um, yes. Um, yes. Mushy probably has one of the most severe overt stammers I've encountered. There's no... ...words vocalised, there's no sound. What's, what's good, he's a good lad, he doesn't, it doesn't seem to affect him, but we're going to make, make his stammer not, not define him going forward, which is really nice. Ryan's. Before the course begins, every student has to make a record in the form of a video diary to demonstrate the severity of their starter. OK, now if one by one, you can please come forward and over to Katie and Keith. Hi. Could you tell me your full name, please? Uh, Do you want to leave it or do you want to carry on? Yeah. I'm not stopping you because we're not going to wait. We just all know what it's like and, you know, everyone's <laughs> yeah. feeling for you. OK? Oh, all right. Okay. All right. Thank you. I've come from Islington. Thomas... Stephen Do you have any brothers and sisters? Brother and a sister. Can you tell me your name, please? The Vicky Croft. Thanks very much. We used 
used to hang out with Brian all the time. Oh, whenever we needed him, he was there at the drop of a hat. He was good like that, wasn't he? Yeah. He even liked a bit of old school German techno like me. There he goes. He's probably saved him thousands too. Brian! Blackbird techno! From valuation and viewings right through to completion, our local property experts could save you thousands. Purple bricks. An estate agent you can love. Command picture hanging strips. A whole wall of possibilities. New Vimto Remix. Seriously mixed up fruit. Marcus, you called Direct Line exactly two hours and 37 minutes ago. You've got an uncontrollable leak. And you've tried to stop it yourself. The bad news is that Joey here is going to have to remove your ball cock. Huh? The good news is that Joey's an emergency plumber. And that's covered under your Direct Line Home Plus insurance. I'll leave you two to it. We are defined by what we've seen. Good evening, Trevor McDonald, ITN, Johannesburg. I witnessed moments which are beyond any descriptive power. And I've seen the infinite resilience of the human spirit. You're never the same after all that, you know. You see the world differently. Look after your eyes, then your vision can last a lifetime. Vision Express. Vision taken seriously. The Hunter is a slick, fun, and entertaining French thriller. Samuel's life is about to fall apart. He is a ruthless contract killer, hired by a law firm run by his mother, a glamorous matriarch who helps wealthy clients get rid of their enemies. Samuel only ever failed to complete one job with Lauren, a beautiful compulsive gambler. Je t'aime. The man who wanted Lauren dead discovers she's living with the very man who was hired to kill her. Suddenly, the hunter becomes the hunted. The hunter. Track down the entire box set, free and exclusively on all four. It's the second day of the Croydon course, and as the vocal work gets underway, the students are taking their first steps towards unlocking their speech. A quiet stammerer, Vicky, is undecided about staying. <laughs> yeah. 
don't worry about anything and it's so much to take in. Throw yourself into it, you will see results, okay? It could be the best thing that ever happens to you. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. The course is rooted in the technique of costal breathing, where speakers use their diaphragm to project a more powerful voice. The students tie belts around their chests to help them focus on the new method. So nervous. Leading the course is instructor Rich Wincup. From now on, we're now going to learn costal breathing. Show them what a costal breath looks like. For every student, the course poses different challenges. Really a certain first sound, OK? <clears throat> so really hit that first sound. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Lovely. I, I was nervous because I'm nervous in all social situations. I mean, that's just normal. I will open up, I think, so. <laughs> 24-year-old nursery nurse Debbie Rizaki has stammered since she was four. She wants to use the course to build her self-confidence. Debbie lives in London with her sister Tolu. Was it is largely about speech, but that's not the only thing. I also want to like improve my con like raise my confidence. Despite being nearly 25, she still relies heavily on her sister to help out especially in social situations. As we were going up, she would go nowhere without me or wherever I was, she'd be. So um, she, we were very, very close, literally inseparable. There is a part of me that wants to laugh, that wants to tell jokes and gossip and everything, but I can't, but I don't, so it's like that part is inside, yeah. To suppress a part of you, it's quite a big part of you on a daily basis and that can't be, that can't be good for anyone. After cancelling her birthday celebrations last year, Debbie hopes the course will give her enough confidence to finally host a party. For my birthday, I planned a dinner with just like close friends but I didn't think I could um, host, host it so I cancelled it yeah last minute <laughs> but yeah if Debbie <laughs> could rearrange a birthday dinner and host it I'd be very shocked and happy to see that then I would know that, OK, she's, she's made that transition. She's on her way. Everyone stand up, please. Stand behind their chairs. This is it. This is the beginning. So everybody in the room making that ah sound. Three, two, one. Three hours into the second day of the course and the students are making one sound per breath. They'll gradually move on to say words, rebuilding their speech step by step. Well, Shrap's doing really well and he's almost smiling, he's not quite quite there yet. Really good eye contact. You can see your rib cage is moving up, letting go, so really well done. At the end of a full day of training, they face the daunting task of speaking in front of the entire room without stammering. Who's ready? Stand up. Who's ready? Show me. Vicky was first. <laughs> Victoria Croft. Liversidge, England. Give us your name again. Victoria Croft. High five. <laughs> she 
Sherry. Ward. Thomas. Battery. Yeah, good effort. Good effort. Good effort. Brilliant. Debbie. Rosaki. Can't remember that. Oh, brilliant. I'll contact with me. Let's hear it, hit it hard. Mm. Good. Musharraf. Asgar. Try that Asgar again. Asgar. Yorkshire. Dewsbury. England. Your name again for me. Musharraf. Asgar. One more time. Asgar. Hit and hold. Asgar. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, really amazing to see in a short space of time relatively how far he's come. He couldn't say a word yesterday. So, amazing. It is a big moment. For me. The students are nearly halfway through the course. After saying their names without stuttering yesterday, they're starting to see their hard work pay off. But Vicky isn't as rested as she'd like to be. And for the first time in months, she can say why. I had to listen to... Two people fornicating all last night. <laughs> it was a good opportunity to use my voice projection <laughs> to tell them to shut up. <laughs> but in the next session, the students will have to push their technique even further. Before, Vicky was very anxious, but something's clicked and she, she has turned that corner because she's staying disciplined and using everything that she's been taught. I'm happy. <laughs> kind of want to be here, which is a good start. <laughs> and I want you to say and and anything. And anything. Stammering can increase under stress, and for many people with a stutter, the telephone holds even more fear than speaking to people face to face. The phone is a lot more difficult, so the coach will sit opposite them, and they will have eye contact with their coach, and they will be phoning people from the Maguire programme phone list. It's just a piece of plastic in your hand, it's not anything else, it's not over complicated, okay? I can feel the confidence growing. I'm getting lo loads of support. It's just like having a room of Mr. Burton's. <laughs> Debbie in particular has always found it difficult to speak on the phone. I I've had some bad experiences on the phone where people would simply hang up 
So keep breathing in time with me. Keep the focus. Resist time pressure, okay? Zebi. Rezaki. It's really good. Thank you. Bye for now. She got through to one of our really experienced course instructors and I think he was saying some nice things and she just got emotional because I know that she's really happy to be able to make the call so it was quite an emotional moment. He asked um, what I would do with my newfound speech and I was just thinking everything so it was just like Amazing. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow the students face their toughest test yet. They'll have to try out their new technique on a hundred strangers. As a stammerer, you're looking for reasons not to talk. You'll go into a supermarket and you'll spend ten minutes looking for the Marmite because you can't say M words and you can't go and ask for it. So you'll do anything to not speak. So Saturday is all about, again, changing that psychological approach and saying, actually, now I need to find an excuse to talk. Speaking to a people I don't know, it's scary. <laughs> Absolutely dreading it. Before Vicky had her stroke seven months ago, she was a confident performer. Me and my f f f friend have been looking at d d d d doing a fundraiser, mm. raise awareness of what our condition is. But like, oh well, did they do it in a time? Because nah, I c c can't speak p p properly. We won't get people to g give us stuff. They'll want us to do a sp the beach about. What we're raising money for. Anybody that she meets when she goes out could say something, and you know, you get some really mean people out there, and it could all just go back to square one, you know. I just try and be there as much as I can and just try and support her. It's all you can do. It makes her feel really sad. I just wish I could do more. I just want her to be back where she was, just confident like she was. To be able to give that speech at the ch ch charity f f f fundraiser would be, be amazing because it's like I could accomplish something. It's a new day and the students are facing their hardest challenge yet. For the first time on the course, the students are leaving the safety of the classroom to confront their worst fears and speak to members of the public. It'll be those first few that you get that really nervous feeling and feel sick to your stomach, OK? Great. So feel that fear and use it. Do it anyway. Yeah. Excuse me. You made the contact. It doesn't matter about the answer. Yeah? Don't get upset. Don't get upset. Don't get upset. Don't 
I'll get upset. But when you're battling with a stammer, not everyone has the patience to hear what you want to say. Excuse me. Uh, that's OK. That's all right. So don't worry about that. Oh, damn. What do you think's happening? I can't say. Excuse me. You just did? Yeah, I, I, you can. That's all right. Zeppi Wazaki. <laughs> Piotr Muszyński. Piotr Muszyński. Listen, I don't have too much time. I'm it's sorry okay. for it's this. Okay. Thank okay? You. You're doing really well, okay? Thank you. Don't be so nervous, okay? Thank you. Fine, bye. Thank bye. you, bye. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, could I just uh, get, take a moment? Yeah, yeah. Uh, of your time. Yeah. Just to tell you. My name, it's a... Push her off. How much? It was... Nice talking to you. You too. Okay. Thank you. Okay then. All right, take care. Excuse me. Do either of you have the time? The time? We have the time. Uh, 17 minutes past one. Thank you very much. Well then, how did that feel? Like I'm going to be sick. <laughs> In a good way. Happy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see you. With the support of her coach Jennifer, Vicky plucks up the courage to speak to a bar full of strangers. Excuse me! Sorry to interrupt your afternoon. Uh, I have a stammer. If you don't mind, I would like to say my name. I th three days ago, I could not do that. Victoria Croft. Thank you for your time. <laughs> it was everything. The fact, oh, Wednesday I was going home. I didn't want to face it. Had all these n negative emotions. And then... <sighs> to do that... It was overwhelming, and I was just so proud of myself. It was like, I'm back, but a new version, a better version. Tomorrow is the last day of the course, but before the students leave, their final and most personal challenge will be to deliver heartfelt speeches to their coaches, family, and friends. It's going to, to be pretty difficult, but I'm up for the challenge. I'm feeling 
anxious. I do feel that she's given me the tools and confidence to do it on my own. <laughs> She's been with me through this whole journey. Not just someone who's sat with me occasionally, but been at my side every step of the way. <laughs> and someone I can run up to and jump on like earlier, just to be like, I've done this with your help because without you, I wouldn't have done it. I'd have gone home. <laughs> but oh, I'll struggle. <laughs> but I'll do it for you and for me. She's got it. And now she has it too. The latest beauty secret is out. New Colgate Expert White works differently. It helps remove deeper set stains and is professionally designed to reverse years of yellowing. For stunning whitening that gets noticed every time. It's a brand new breakthrough whitening. New Colgate Expert White. Have you got it? Argos, our new catalogue is out now. Get great deals on Bush Lard kitchen appliances, like this 8 kilogram washing machine, our lowest price ever, just $199.99. And with free delivery on all large kitchen appliances. And save £100 on this Vax cordless multifunction slim vacuum, just $149.99, our lowest price ever. Plus, buy one, get one half price on Colour Match, with over 800 lines included. Go get great deals. Click to buy now. Go Argos. <laughs> Julia, what's doing, Wolf? Yeah? You were on your way to Marsha's hen party when you took a hit from a couple of wise guys. Nightmare. About your car. Does it smoke? Make a noise? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Call Direct Line. They'll arrange a higher car. Won't have to wait for mine to go in for repair. Not with Direct Line. Oh, hey, fun. what about us? Are you with Direct Line? No. Then on your bike, Buster. Imagine what we'll find. Aliens hell bent on kill killing us. That's the spirit bones. You make a good team. I believe we do. Want to head back out there? Yes. This is the Dell XPS 13. It has a virtually borderless display for unleashing cinematic monsters in the sky. And a 6th gen Intel Core processor for streaming all things likeable, all flight long. Inspired by you, in-flight entertainment expert. We love your work. Get ready. Cross your fingers, here we go. For a giant movie event. How absolutely squiffling. A magical adaptation of Roald Dahl's tale is coming to the big screen. Your cake, sir. <laughs> it's pure Spielberg movie magic. Oh, no. 
astonishing. It's a giant country. The BFG in cinemas July 22nd. Cadbury Dairy Milk, made with a glass and a half of fresh milk. It's the last day of Stammer School. In just a few hours, it will be the students' final chance to confront their biggest fears and deliver their closing speeches. Their closest friends and family have travelled from all over the country to be with them. This isn't just about speaking, it's, it's just about her as a person and gaining her confidence back. I think she's scared of being laughed at. I don't know, I don't want to put too many expectations on it. I have no doubt that it's going to work. It will work. It must work. <laughs> We're hopeful. We're hoping that this is a, a new milestone for him and be able to um, be more forthcoming rather than being um, the quiet one in the back. Just four days ago, some students could hardly say their names. Today, they're expected to make a speech to a room full of people. First to take to the stage is Debbie. I have developed Techniques which have enabled me to find my voice. Debbie Rezaki, bye for now. Victoria Croft, 23, Liversidge, Yorkshire. I have a stammer. Anybody who feels that they cannot speak to people should realise they aren't on their own, like I thought I was. There's other people out there that are going through the same thing of us, as us, and they will help you and do understand. I now know to feel the fear and do it anyway. Victoria Croft. I know to some people it may be just speaking, but to me and my family, 
it, it, it is for me to show this world who I am. I just want to make my family proud of me. I would like to thank everyone who is here today. I want to thank my family who have come all the way from to Usbury. This course has helped me in ways I couldn't believe. All of the coaches who have helped me, I want to thank you. There's one coach who I would like to thank, and that is Steve Moses. He was the first one to hear me speak fluently, and he has helped me build my confidence. I want to thank God who has given me the ability to stand here. It would have been better off if I started with them first. But Thank you all. And what's your name? Oh yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure you, you you all want to know that. Musharraf. Musharraf Asga. Thank you. to experience a lot more out of life and, and not holding back. I'm going to give a toast, stand up and say a little something. I hope that this is a start of a new me, a new Debbie that will call you all the time and meet up with you all the time. Thank you. This signifies the, the first step in a new Debbie. A new Debbie that will be everything she wanted to be, really. I will never let my standards stop me from doing anything again. <laughs> to speak to an audience full of people and beg them for money, <laughs> like you do. <laughs> I don't think a few months ago I'd have even dreamt of doing all this. I had a stroke seven months ago, oh, oh, which left me with a stammer. And tonight, I'm here to ooh, raise awareness. So please give generously. Bye for now.
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. This is a lot more about just speaking. It's, it's my future and the, the future I've been trying to create for so long, but I haven't had the right tools. It's been a really good lesson, this lesson. We've got two teachers. This is Miss Asghar. We're going to be doing a lesson together. Oh, you need some help? I need to explain like, what part of the thing are you using it on? Are you using it on his arms? Are you using it on his yeah, feet? Yeah, so you we need to explain it. Okay. Thank you, sir. No problem. There's nothing that makes a teacher more proud than seeing a student that they've taught before doing incredibly, incredibly well and, and doing what they want to do and, and being happy is the most important thing. And to see Mushraf in there and enjoying it and, and doing what, what he was doing is just the most personal, professional pride you can I'll ever be able to feel, really. It's... Um, just wonderful to see um, and slightly concerning that he's possibly after my job. Every time we asked him something, he knew it. He's lucky he's already a teacher. I can show people I have a voice and I can show them that the hard work, everything can pay off. No matter what you do, hard work always pays off in the long term. Yeah.